Okay, I needed to uh, clarify something from my previous video because I watched the video and gave it a little bit more thought. So if we picture that mirror again, right, it's the best way that I can think of to picture um, for us to picture it. So if I were to step right into the next image, right, the and we we're saying that that would be just a way that we can imagine moving into a different timeline, right? I myself would be moving into a new existence and all of me would have done the same thing at the same time. So because existence would all be the same, right? So with that being said, there would not be a change in the overall existence because every single existence would experience the same passage of something, the exact same thing in a sense, through it from that spot. So it's kind of confusing, but basically, let's say I myself travel to the right an hour. And let's say each one of those, I don't even know how many you'd break it down to, milliseconds or whatever. Let's just break it down into minutes so it's easy to understand. So me moving 60 minutes into the future would also mean that another me who was in a different existence 60 meters in <laughs> 60 minutes in the past at the time that I moved would also move 60 minutes into my future from the one that I previously was in. So It would seemingly be that I would leave and then I would be traveling. It would look like I'm, I'm like, <laughs> this is confusing to speak about, but I would be time traveling, right? And I would arrive but it wouldn't be me re-arriving in my timeline it would be another me arriving in my previous timeline along that plane of my timeline that I left who has experienced everything that I've experienced from but is a different me <laughs> And they would arrive just like I would arrive in a different plane of a timeline an hour or 60 minutes from that. So all of these existences would always be the same no matter what. Something to understand. <laughs>